the majority of the world, I'm convinced, they look at people that are successful. They look at people in LA and Hollywood. They look at people, you know, that are you know multimillionaires or that are CEOs or that are pro athletes or that are professional dancers. They they look at them as though they're watching a movie or like they're watching a TV. It's like that's cool for them. That's not real life. Like this is me and my life. That's you know that other side of of the world. That's not really reality. So many people they get comfortable and they just they just stay there and that's just not that's just not how we're supposed to live on this on this earth um, I, I just truly believe that we were put on this planet um, to make an impact and to live up to our God-given talents abilities um, skills nobody tiptoes and falls into significance. And so you have to dive in head first. Like you have to go all in. You can't dabble your way to success. And so, I mean, that, that in and of itself should be a eye opener for somebody right now that's just going through the motions. You know, people talk these days about, you know, why no one's dreaming big. I think people are, still they still do have big dreams they just come to the realization that they're not willing to put in the work to achieve them so you have succumbed to this living small because you just know you're not willing to ever put the work in to actually get it so it's this rationalization of like i'm going to live this mediocre life and pretend like those things don't matter to me but in reality i just don't want to do what it get, takes to get it so many people especially in sales especially entrepreneurs that are just dabbling their way through life you know, playing over here, putting in some effort over here. But if they actually dove head first and went all in, there's a fear that's created of, and I had this fear because of being 29 and being flat broke and having a failed business and, and where I was in life of, well, I don't want to dive head first and go all in because what if I fail? And it was, it was just to be able to use that excuse like, Oh yeah, that job, yeah, it didn't work out. Uh, I mean, if I would have tried, uh, you know, I would have done well, but like, you know, I, w I wasn't really going all in, but you know, if I had, I would have crushed it. Literally, I was doing it on purpose, so I would have that excuse sitting right there of, well, of course it didn't work out. If I would have tried, if I would have gone all in, I would have killed it, but I didn't. And so it was this fear of diving head first and this fear of going all in and it not working. And that's where so many people are. They're like, man, I really need to give this all I've got, but what if I give it all I've got and it's not enough? I'm here to tell you that if you give it all you got, it will always be enough. It may be an evolution of figuring out the right things to do and the right places to put your emphasis and effort and, and action. But at the end of the day, like if you're going all in every single day, it doesn't matter what you're going all in on, it will be successful.